Hi guys, my name is Christina and welcome to my channel and in today's video we're gonna be talking about pacing in your comic, how to control it, what's the deal, how to basically create visual pacing of your story, so... Before we start, I just want to clarify what pacing is. Pacing is the speed at which story is unfolding. Obviously, there is a speed to the actual story. For example, stories can take 24 hours to happen, or the story can take a decade to happen, or like hundreds of years to happen. However, there is another speed of how the story is shown to you. So the speed of storytelling, let's say that. For example, you know how your mom can go to the grocery store and then tell you the story of an hour long of how this lady cut her in the line. Whatever happened was very short however you can drag and drag and drag and drag the story and basically make the pacing really slow if you're right and you're writing a story there is tons of videos online on how to create pacing in a sense of writing with words in a novel literature format. However, here we'll be talking about visual pacing, how to make pages feel fast-paced, or how to create the speed of the story, move the story along fast or slow with just your visual elements on the page. We're gonna be discussing two things in this video. First is why you wanna control your pacing, and in the second part we're gonna talk about how to control your pacing in the visual context. So why would you wanna control your pacing? What does the pacing do and what you can achieve with your pacing? First, let's roughly agree on that we're gonna be talking generally on high speed and low speed. Obviously there's a lot of stuff in between, but we're gonna talk about those extreme ends of the stick to make it more clear for us. So those speeds help you achieve several things. First, you can control how your reader overall feels when they're reading your story. If you're using high speed, your reader is gonna feel more tense, more stressed out, and if you're using slow speed, your reader will feel more relaxed overall. You wanna balance those because you don't want your reader to get too tired and you don't want your reader to get too bored. So balancing those reader experience is very important. Also with the speed, you control the focus. With the fast speed, you're making your reader focus on the plot. With the slow speed, you're making your reader focus on the story. What I mean on the story, it's like the point, the more philosophical aspect of the story, the more thought-provoking focus of the story, and with the focus on the plot, you're making your reader focus on plot progression, where the plot is going, the skeleton of the story. I would say your story should have its own native pacing. Your story either overall fast pace or overall slow pace or overall, like it should be not like neutral, it should be on some sort of a scale, but of course there is a lot of variation within the story, but I would say overall your story should have its own native pace. It's not like the beginning of your story this crazy, the middle is very slow and then it's back to crazy, I would say have your story have some one unified pacing with variation. I think it's very important because from the beginning you're letting your reader know how the story is gonna play out, if they're into that, if they're not into this, all of that. So yeah, you can control the overall mood with the speed. For example, if the speed is high, you typically will be representing the moods that are more exciting. For example, it could be happiness, it could be stress, and could be panic, and could be fear. Basically, the feelings that are more high and more expressive and more have like nervousness is them, those gonna be, be brought up by the high speed. And if you want uh, to represent a more slow down emotion, for example, anticipation, feeling like something is coming, or feeling of comfort, or feeling of safety, all the feelings that are kind of stretched in time, this is what you wanna create with the pacing. So now that we discussed what you can do with your pacing, we're gonna talk about how to achieve the pacing. The first way of how you can do it is regulate the amount of frames that you have on your page. If your pages of your comic are uniform, for example, as mine, they're all A4 format or normal printable comic will have pages that are all uniform. The more frames you have, the faster the pacing is. So this also will mean the smaller they are, the faster it feels. Think about each frame as a bit of the story and the more bits you have, the faster the story feels because the page feels like a unit of time and the more beats fits in the unit of time, the faster each beat feels. So overall, the more frames you put in, the faster the story is. And vice versa, if you want to really slow down your story, you can use as few panels as possible, or if you want to really, really make a point of the moment being frozen in time, you can use just one page as one panel, just one action drawn on one page that would really slow this page down, put a massive emphasis on it, and really drive home whatever is depicted on this panel. And if you want to go even farther, you can do a whole panel that covers both pages if, for example, your comic is printable and people 
has an opportunity to look at the two pages side by side, you can put one panel on both of those pages that would really slow down the story. So that would be my tip number one. My tip number two is speed of the action or whatever is happening on the page right now. If you want to make your drawing look faster, it will look faster if you depict in the action that actually is fast. For example, if you depict a hug, we normally know that the hug would be decently slow situation. Or if you are depicting a punch or a kick, it will be more fast. If you show in the character yawning, that will feel more slow. If you show in the character sneezing, that will feel more fast. The speed of the action depicted will make us feel how fast this panel on this page goes, just because we know we have the feeling of speed when we show the action. My third tip on how to speed up or slow down the visuals of your story would be to control the amount of time your reader will take to consume a page. You can control it, for example, with the text. If this page has a lot of text, a lot of bubbles, a lot of stuff to read, it will feel longer to the reader just because they will spend a lot of time consuming this page. Or another way to add details important to the plot, not like, for example, you're showing an interior with a lot of details. No, you're showing a lot of different details that your reader has to um, Stop walking! She walks all the time! Or for example, if you put a lot of details that your reader has to pay close attention to, and or for example, a lot of actions of the character that they're doing, a lot of stuff going on, it will feel more slow to the reader just because they will spend a lot of time really focusing on what is going on, or maybe they have to like really, really analyze the situation. Or for example, you're showing off some location, some interior, some exterior setting, and it has a lot of details that are important to the plot and you're emphasizing it, that might really slow it down. Or for example, if the page is, but if you create the page the way that the reader goes through this very, very fast, it will feel like the pacing is faster overall. Controlling the speed with which your reader goes through the page is definitely gonna affect the visual pacing too. The fourth tip that I can give to you is having some speed elements. It's a more cheating situation, but basically if you use speed lines, like the ones you see in a lot of anime and a lot of manga, or using uh, motion blur, this will normally uh, communicate to your reader that something is fast. It not necessarily, I think, clean way of creating visual pacing, but it will kind of evoke the feeling of a fast speed of your reader. Or for example, if you're using elements that are more static as a background, such as, for example, a lot of white space, a lot of non-information background, that normally would feel more slow. All of these tricks can create this feeling. On the topic of tricks, for example, stuff like lens flares, glows, halos, those typically will slow down the visual or for example if you're using some sparks they will create the feeling of speed it's basically just comes from your reader consuming a lot of animated art such as movies animation films all of that that those elements are known to that media so when they see them in the media like comic that is has no motion in it they recognize it and that's why it feels like certain speed to them. I would say this little dirtier way to do this, I would say don't rely on it all the time. The fifth tip is the use of composition overall. The composition can really, really create dynamic. I'm gonna make a whole video about composition of the frames. However, saying overall, the, if the composition is unbalanced, it usually creates a feeling of speed. For example, if something is just becoming off-center, uh, you feel a feeling that something will happen or they have to balance themselves up right away or it will just all fall down, basically, and then like, not stable, more unbalanced composition creates the feeling of more speed. The composition that is more dynamic also creates a lot of speed. And the composition that is more static, that is more symmetrical, we create a slowness. So composition is actually a very powerful tool. Again, I'm gonna make a whole video on composition, but overall, as a rule of thumb, dynamic composition, more speed, static symmetrical composition, slower. And the last tip that I have for you is wide angle versus close-ups. You can make those choices on the page, on the pen, Usually wide angles will create the feeling of lower speed and close-ups will create the feeling of higher speed. It kind of goes together with whatever I already mentioned of your reader spending time on the page affecting the speed. So basically if you have a wide shot that is normally a lot to look at, it will create the feeling that the scene is overall slower because a lot of time spent looking at it. Or if you have a close-up, it's usually just very fast to just look at something close up and that's it. And normally we don't in our real life spend a lot of time looking at something real, real close. For example, the close-up would be your character holding something, your character grabbing the doorknob, your character making a step. Normally that would feel very fast. That 
could be also a good way to control speed of your comment. So that is it for this video. I hope those tips were helpful. I hope that uh, can be beneficial for your comic. I hope you will play with all of them. And yeah, I hope you can really, you know, go crazy with your comics and play with the speed and achieve more. So, and I hope to see you in my other videos. So thank you so much guys for watching and I see you in my next video. Thank you so much guys. Bye.